Good afternoon, everyone. The rain stopped here. Still muddy and sloppy. But uh, I don't know what happened, but we went through this uh, the spell of uh, dry spell, I call it, of no Mustangs. And bam, finally. I, I used to crush a Mustang on every load. And then I got this little channel going and I, um, you know, I got some, some subscribers and comments and stuff. And of course I asked, you know, hey, what kind of vehicle do you like? I can maybe do something you want to see crush. The guy said, uh, I, I, I hope I do not say his name bad. I'm gonna try it. Akuti. But uh, he's got a little channel too. And he, he comments on all my videos and everything. And this is my little way of, of uh, thanking him for his support and everything. Just put his put his name up there on the Mustang. But uh, yeah, he was. I was like, so what? what you know, what would you like to see crush? And he's like, you know, Mustangs. He goes, I like them, but shoot, I, I wouldn't mind watching some of them crush too. And um, we, I didn't get another one. Two months, I swear, two months. We got way. Remember all the PT cruisers we went through, and and, and couldn't get a Mustang, but. I was telling him that in the business, it's like my least favorite, and I'm pretty sure everybody else is like least favorite car. But we're gonna get to it. Uh, you know, y'all know the rule, gotta keep a car on the rack up there. Keep the car draining, and everything will, will keep the thing, keep the, keep the job flowing, keep it moving. Well, anyway, so we finally got a Mustang, and uh, I was explaining to him how, man, Mustangs really are a pain in the butt for, my portion, you know, my deal. But uh, besides that, I had a couple crazy girlfriends with Mustangs. But this car, the motor's already been out and all that kind of stuff. But here's here's why I, I one of the reasons I don't like Mustangs. These hoods are fiberglass. Y'all see that? So I'm trying to raise the hood and it's just splitting in pieces, makes a mess everywhere. Okay. Now they've already removed. The converters off of this one, but generally they also are a pain in the butt to get off. And then y'all know, I, I look in every trunk. You know we gotta make sure everything is is removed that, that could explode. And then once again, we got another fiberglass. Oh God, Lee, what do we got? Look at him smiling. We found a speaker box. Woo wee we found a speaker box. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. How are we gonna get that big thing out? God almighty, that's a big old, hang on. Look at that. Speaker box. Look at him, he's like, what? Y'all see it? That's all speaker box right there. Let me pause it just for a second. I say he's, he's probably one needing some help. Them things could be heavy. What? Could be junk. How are we gonna get it out? We ain't gonna crush it. All right, y'all pause for a second. Well, I thought this video was just gonna be crushing a Mustang real quick, but I guess we're gonna try to get this speaker box out without tearing it up. Let's see what I can do. This is this is what we're talking about. Some of that, some of that finesse work, some of that nimble. Looks like zoom a little bit. All right, let me see if I can. Where these tail lights with R, See if I can't bend that down a little bit. That's really what's holding it in. That's just sheet metal stuff there, but. Some of these speaker boxes are worth money. I think he said he got it now. Probably need some help, some of them are heavy. It's big. What? Shoot, we'll stop at the pawn shop on the way to the shop, on the way home, and split that, buddy. Even if they give us $15, $20, we'll split that. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
Wow, how about that? I ain't seen a, a Mustang in a long time and it showed up with some free stuff. I've never been into uh, speaker boxes or amps. That's never, that's never been my thing. I'm not saying it's not cool. I'm not saying, I'm just saying it's never been my thing. All right, sorry. Now this is gonna turn into a long video, but that's all right. Hey, hey, y'all seen it just as I did and that's great. But uh, I want to thank uh, the subscriber here and give him this shout out. He, he uh, comments on my stuff and he's also giving me some really good advice like, hey, maybe, you know, try this, explain that or, you know, just, and it's, it's neat. I like it and I'm, I'll take all that kind of stuff. But uh, this one's for him. I'm going to try one more time and I hope I don't slaughter his name. Akuti. And uh, real nice guy. I appreciate all your comments and support, and it's if, I, the, if the least I can do is give you a shout out and put you on a Mustang, I'll do that for you. But yeah, we went into a dry spell these Mustangs. All right. I'll listen to it squeeze. I don't know if y'all were able to hear that. All right. Well, there's my shout out to my buddy. Thank you for the comments. Uh, I got more shout outs coming, don't y'all worry. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get to y'all. But nothing fancy here left. I try to keep these a little shorter. But uh, thanks guys. Thank y'all very much. We found a speaker box, pretty cool. Thank you.